Time for Chart Attack, and we're talking about an index known as the Fear Index, or the VIX, if you prefer. Our closer, Andrew Keene, not so sure you should be afraid of it. So, Andrew, this may be the least understood index in the market. It's, what really is the VIX? So, the VIX is the calculation the CBOE put out. Basically, they have a secret recipe, and you can't find the calculation of the volatility on the out of the money SP 500 future options. So, basically, how much we're going to move. And if we look at the VIX currently, there's the spot VIX and there's future prices of the VIX. And we talked about this as implied volatility versus historic volatility. So, historic volatility is basically the spot, like where it is right now, how much the move movement there's been right now. And then as the futures go on later out, July 25th is July future, and then we have August and September, the VIX actually gets a little bit higher, about a point and a half per month. So that's telling us that right now there's not that much fear, but there's indicating maybe more fear going forward. How in other words, traders think that that in the future, as you go several months out, there will be more volatility, hence a higher VIX. Yes, it's in backwardation right now. We haven't seen it going contango, and what it means if and it's in contango. Back, yeah, uh, explain to the viewers contango versus backwardation. Okay, backwardation basically means the spot VIX, where the current day is, is the cheapest, and the futures are all go up a little bit higher. So the implied vol going higher is all the way up. And that's contango. That's backwardation. Contango when the front month is the highest, and we haven't seen it go to that since August in 2011 when we had those four days when we made 500 point days. However, I don't really think the VIX is a fear indicator. If you think about it, everybody is long. Hedge funds are long, mutual funds, 401k, IRA, everybody's long. So the market climbs up very, very, very slowly, and then it just spikes down. So basically, as we go higher, 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 there's no reason to buy puts, and then when we go down, people buy puts. All right, explain for viewers why it is that when the market's rallying, the VIX comes down and then and it goes down very slowly, but on the other hand, when we spike down, the VIX spikes up way higher than stocks. Why is that? Because it's insurance against a portfolio. So we talk about 401k, IRA, and how hedge funds trade. You know, we climb higher, higher, higher. You don't buy insurance, you know, for thunder or for storms until you have to. So when, you, when the market gets crushed, and that's when people are going out to buy protection. So it's just a supply demand curve on the options in the S&P 500 futures. All right, and of course, uh, the, the reason it ultimately matters is that the VIX is used to price options. So the higher the VIX, the higher the price of the option. It becomes more expensive. Yeah, it also takes into calculation daily and monthly moves, and it helps calculate how much the market will move going forward. All right, understood. VIX 101. Actually, that might have been 102.